guys, Nikki Bubble come here today. So today I'm going to be messing with this punky color mood switching hair. It's the temperature colored hair. It's supposed to go from black to pink, like the box. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Um, so it comes with these two little applicator sponges. They're pre-packaged. I already took the plastic off because ain't nobody got time to watch me open this. And it also comes with the little gloves. And it comes with a jar of the color stuff. It's um, one use, so once you rinse it out, it's gone. It's just kind of t it's temporary hair color um, effect stuff. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, you're supposed to like apply it with the sponge to the areas you want to add the color to. So we'll see how this goes. I gotta put on the gloves. It does say to instantly remove any other hair color, like if you get it on your clothes, your hair. Okay, so I just went and changed my shirt because I didn't want to get like the hair color on my clothes and stuff. Hopefully I'm not going to get it all over my face and everywhere else because I tend to get colored everywhere when I use it. So I'm going to put on the giant gloves, got my black shirt on, and yeah, let me get one of these sponges and open up this bad boy. Okay, so it's just colored by itself. I have this little spongy thingy. It's kind of like a hard cream, so it's not like a regular color. Um, so, makes sense with the sponges. Hmm. Not really making my hair all that darker. It kind of looks more like a gray than a black. But yeah, uh, I'm going to start putting this all over my hair and then I guess I'll be back to you guys and we'll see how this goes because, I mean, it is kind of covering up the greenish color. Okay, so I'm starting to work this stuff kind of through my hair, but it's making my hair look like it's kind of like a weird, thick, wet, and kind of nasty-ish right now. Hopefully as it dries, it'll look better as I brush it, but I mean, it looks a little more gray than black, so like it's, you can see where parts I haven't done yet are still like, look a little more greenish, and then more over here where I've done more, it looks more gray. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this and see kind of how it goes, but like I put a little bit here and you can see what I mean by like, it looks like my hair is wet, but it's not, so yeah, we'll see. I'll be back guys. Okay, so now I got this all over my hair and I look like a weird wet dog, but my hair, you can kind of see is darker, looks almost black now, even though it's you can still see bits of the green from where I dyed my hair that gray. Um, so now it says once it's on to help it dry, use a hair dryer and that it should also turn pink. And for those of you wondering what happened to my Galaxy hair dryer, I broke it. I dropped it and cracked it and broke it in half and the whole bo bottom tried to come off even though it was screwed in there and then the fan broke and I broke it. I dropped it perfectly right just to completely destroy it. And then the hair is supposed to kind of turn pink as you hair dry it so or blow dry it, you know. Yeah, so, let's see. So it's supposed to turn pink. It feels really sticky. Trying not to get it. I'm trying not to get it on my face. And I'm using my fingers to break up my hair, like the instruction said. I know I'm yelling, but I don't know if you can hear me. It doesn't look to be turning pink to me. Maybe it's because it's not dry yet. I just got dinner with my mom and hopefully I don't have to try and take a shower. Oh! Bits of it are turning pink! A little bit. Let's keep blow drying this shit. I'll be back. So I'm still drying and drying, and it's just making my hair feel really like waxy and gross. And I think I need to go take a shower before I can go to dinner. 
and very small part, only very small parts of it are turning pink. And my, there's no way I didn't put enough. And even though I'm drying it, it's not really getting any drier. It's like a really thick, like waxy pomade, and you can see it on my hands coming off. And that part's turning pink, but yeah, I think this is gonna be a huge bust. And I'm very sad. Like, color chops at this point might work better. Of course, I'm not going to change colors, but... It's not going to make my hair feel this gross. Look, look at that. That's not normal. Okay, so for after drying it for like 20 minutes, still feels really, really fucking waxy. Like, I put like... Some weird kind of pomade gel stuff in my hair. I've been brushing it for a really long time and there's like dry chunks of like the color stuff. But I don't have time to go take a shower because I gotta be meeting up with my mom soon to go have dinner or like, yeah. Because it's like almost 4 o'clock. She gets off at 4 and then we can go get sushi and I gotta put on some normal clothes again. And, and yeah. Nah. And then very little bits of it turn pink. I'm going to try and get my straightener and see if maybe that will help it turn pink a little bit better. But so far, I'm not liking this. At all. Like, I'm very disappointed. And my hair feels so gross. Like, so gross. Okay, so I plugged in my straightener. It's heating up right now. And I just went and changed into a regular shirt since I'm also getting ready to go again. Get dinner with my mom. But, like... I cannot express enough how gross my hair feels like right now. Like, it feels kind of like dry, like if I went swimming, but then it's also like, kind of like oily and has like this residue, like pomade or something, or a better word. Feels like if you got gum stuck out of your hair, but it still feels kind of sticky. Yeah, maybe that's a better explanation for it. I'm definitely not about it. Like my hair definitely looks less wet and more kind of like my hair since i dried it still fucking weird looking it just feels so gross like i can't express enough how gross my hair feels right now like maybe if you have lighter hair it'd be more worth it and you can see it because it was supposed to be black more so the color isn't really the color of the black i'm gonna take straightener see if that makes it pink or so, I mean, you can see my hair smoking. It's clearly hot. And I don't even know if that's my hair. I think that's the stuff. But it didn't turn pink. Yep. Nope. Definitely a bust. Yeah. Definitely, like, zero stars. Not about it. And I gotta wear my hair like this in public, so... Wish me luck. Um, if you guys have tried like a different brand of like this color changing stuff or you've tried this one, um, let me know what you thought of it. Maybe I, it's better with like super short hair or like maybe you really do have to completely drown. Or even if you can come up with like a better explanation of like this nasty feeling of the hair. My best so far is like bubblegum residue so yeah i hope you guys are having a beautiful day though i'm gonna go have some sushi and i'll talk to you guys later and yeah